Austin State Lines back to Missouri, where as of right now, there's a long list of acceptable forms of ID you can use to go to the polls. Driver's license, utility bill, state school ID. But guess what? This list right here, two sides, it shrinks at midnight. And that has many, many people concerned. You have seen a lot. This is my 70th year. <laughs> By the time you're Rachel Williamson's age. I, I saw Little Rock, the Little Rock Nine go in, and, and all of the issues that surrounded discrimination during that time. The separate bathrooms. I saw the struggle of people struggling to vote. Williamson's fear is that it'll be like deja vu come June 1st. It's the duty of all of us to support fair access to the ballot. That's why she's among dozens here expressing displeasure to the new voter ID provisions in Missouri. It looks as though we're trying to roll back the time. So that's why I'm here today. The duty of every Missourian is to secure and protect ourselves and the right to vote. As a result of legislation passed last year, the number of acceptable forms of ID to cast the ballot has gone down. Those opposed say the subtractions will only add more disenfranchised voters. There's no evidence to support voter impersonation, and I think this just gets in the way of various people like minorities, women, elderly, disabled, having an extra thing they have to go through to vote. Yes, there is voter fraud, and we've had one voter, she went in to vote, and somebody had already forged her name and voted in her spot. The Jackson County Election Board admits the new rules are a bit more stringent, but Tammy Brown says her agency will be ready. We have to totally redo our training so the judges understand that there's a tiered system now for voting. A system Williamson fears will leave some voices unheard. This is my 70th year, but we have people who are 80 and 90 that may not have had a birth certificate at all. And all of this enters into being able to get an ID. But the other side of the argument is it's kind of hard to function, at least in this day and age, without a photo ID. I mean, you can't get a prescription. You can't go to the doctor. Election workers in Jackson County and across the state spending the next few weeks trying to get the word out about the new laws and the new changes. Now, here's important to note if you don't have any acceptable form of ID when at the polls, you can cast a provisional ballot. For a list of acceptable forms of ID now, we've linked the Secretary of State's website to ours at KSHB.com. Just search for this story.